We back, we back, we back. Happy to be here. 49ers red today, man. Very happy to be here today, man. Let's get this on, man. Let's get right into it, man. My guy came out here. First of all, I'm my king, my host of the show. And uh, we got my co-host. This is Blair Coates talking to you. Man, we got Grant Cohn. In the, I mean, he, legend. First of all, I told him, I was talking to him just a little bit before the show, man. Man, shout out to his pops, man. You know, long time San Francisco columnist, man. And just thought got, got a lo- lot of respect, man. This, you know, this generational right here, man. This is this yeah. is this is an honor, brother. This is an honor, brother. No, thank you. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. You know, just trying to just trying to follow in his footsteps. Man, yeah. let's, let, man, let's, let's get let's get some of this on, man. I, I got I know we we got several questions for you, but the ten, the top ten right here for you. Um, let's get into it. Trent Taylor, yeah. <laughs> okay, two people that are under. <laughs> kind of uh, underdeveloped, not really playing to the potential, if you will. It hasn't worked out. What do you think their future is for this team? I don't think they have a future with this team. Uh, Jarek McKinnon, I feel for. He didn't do anything wrong. He was a terrific athlete. He got a great contract with the Niners. He tried. His knee blew out. And he came back two years later. That's a great comeback story. But he's a running back. And you can see that he doesn't have – the explosion quickness speed that he once had or needs to be effective. Um, So sorry, Jarek. Uh, He can go, especially when it seems like Jermichael Hastie's good. Raheem Mostert's good. Jeff Wilson Jr. is good. They don't really need running backs. And then Trent Taylor, again, I don't think he has a future on this team, on any team in the NFL. He was decent as a rookie. I liked him in 2017. He was decent. So you don't, so so you don't think, you don't think that Trent Taylor can go to the New England Patriots and catch a couple balls out there, man? Uh, 2017, Trent Taylor could have. But what, what I've seen from him on on film is that whatever little – he used to be one of the quickest players in the league. You go back and look at his tape in 2017 or you look at his three-cone and 20-yard shuttle numbers from the combine, they were elite. Mm-hmm. You look at his film now – he has no quickness. He has had back surgery and foot surgery. And when he goes into those little option routes over the middle, he's got nothing. So really the way they use him now is like running deep clear out routes. And he runs probably a four, seven. He needs to, he needs to retire. Oh, I see. Wow. I seen your video, man. <laughs> it's not personal. It's just professional <laughs> at sports, man. You're just in the way of Richie James, basically at this point, let Richie James have a career. Mid season. Um, you know, a lot of injuries, you know, we, we got some injuries, man. I, you know, I think if we, I think if we was healthy, we would definitely be ahead of this, this division, I believe, um, or maybe struggling with, with, uh, with quarterback play still. So we may be right below Seattle around that area there. Cause I think Shanahan can, uh, script up some plays. Um, but, but talk to me about how do you feel like we're going to finish for the remainder of the year with guys coming back after this uh this bye week how do you think we're going to finish this year it's a tough one because i don't know how much debo samuel raheem mostert and to mckinley are going to be able to impact the, the rams game like they might be able to do well in a few weeks but mckinley's coming off a groin injury debo samuel's coming off a hamstring injury most just coming off a serious knee injury. I mean, the vibe I'm getting from the Niners is to not expect much from those three in particular after the bye. Maybe they'll get more from them like week 15, 16, 17. But if they if they can't win any games before then, what's the point bringing them back? So I think like a lot depends on what they do against the Rams with kind of the guys who've been around the last few weeks. Mm. So. What are your thoughts when it when it pertains to Kyle Shanahan and Nick Mullins? Just that dynamics. I, I feel like he, I feel like Nick is going to have to finish this season. I don't think Jimmy's coming back. I know people's talking like it's a possibility. I don't. I don't personally want to see it. I'm. I've already. You know, we've already rode that horse for me personally. Mm-hmm. So, how do you think this dynamic is? Do you believe that Nick Mullins would be back on a roster next year, um, based on his performance between now to the end of the season? Because if he kind of falters, do you believe he'll be still on the roster? I think he will still be on the roster. He'll be a restricted free agent. I think they'll pick up his tender. To me, he's the perfect backup for the, yeah. the perfect backup quarterback. I mean, he, he knows your system. 
Uh, you can win games with him. He's never played a game with both Raheem Mostert and Debo Samuel, which is like – that's like training wheels for a quarterback. I mean, they, they make your job so easy. That's your run game. Mm. So I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's the franchise quarterback, but to bring him back as the backup, yeah, I think he's one of the best <laughs> quarter, backup quarterbacks in the league. You wouldn't bring back C.J. Beathard and then – I would expect that they're going to trade Jimmy Garoppolo, although we'll get to that later. But, yeah, I mean, as a backup, absolutely. And I think the reason you can see that they're going to bring him back is they refuse to bench him. I mean, they they benched him for a second for C.J. Beathard, but they always keep coming back to to Mullins because he has value. Remember, they, they turned down a trade for him this past offseason. He has value. I, I mean, Nick Mullins knows the offense, like you just said. Kyle exactly. Shanahan is going to use him as a security blanket. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be there next season. So I'm kind of with Grant there. I do think Nick Mullins is going to come back. 